Hey guys, hope you're having a great weekend as we do every week. This is going to be our weekly watch list video highlighting the five stocks that we are watching. First one being Mara, second one being Meta, third one being Bapa, fourth one Netflix, and then the fifth one NVIDIA. If you enjoy, please smash that like button. Thank you. So getting things started, the first thing I'm doing is going to be breaking down the market here. And by doing that, I'm going to be utilizing SPY from the daily and weekly time frame perspective. So let's zoom out here. Let's go into the weekly chart here. You can see this is an obvious continual rejection here on the downside. The question becomes, when can we actually break this descending trend line and make a move higher here? So you can see the rejection, the rejection here, the rejection, a fake out here on this 1212 weekly candle, reversal lower. Then you can see we're forming this curling pattern here. So we got to move lower here. On this weekly candle down here into this 387 region, you can see a very nice close here on Friday, clearing or closing up near the highs of this candle here. So really what I want to see from a weekly time frame perspective is if we do reclaim 400, I do think we finally get a crack of this descending trend line and a strong expansion move to the upside here, potential up into that 410, 414 region above here. The continual key will be that 400, played multiple rejections on it this week off of this level here. Now going to the daily chart, we mentioned to the group, if we do get a move through this 391 region, which was the high of this potential reversal candle here, likely to see a move higher here. And we got exactly just that. We closed or cleared through 391, pushed higher here, got a lot of strength up into this 395 zone here. Now I'm watching this for a continuation move. Really want to see again that 400 region. That is going to be a critical level here coming up this week for a continued upside move. Cup breakout here. And then above that, that 410 region, also very big level here. You can see we rejected it on 12.1 here. We also saw a lot of selling pressure here on 12.13 when we tested it. Move lower. Now we're trying to form this cup pattern back up into this 4.10 region here. Personally, watching above this 400 area long, if we do reject this on Monday, going to eye this to the downside here. This has been a continual rejection that I've played multiple times where you get this opening move up here. You get a lot of tape and a lot of quick sells or offers here. And then you get this move lower here. So watching this here in this coming week, nice rejection, 400 key for that macro upside here into that 410 region above here. With that being said, the first play of the week is going to be Mara. And I'm sure some of you guys have this on watch. It has had a very strong bounce off the bottom. Lots of strong buying here on Friday. You basically get this cup and handle formation here. So you can see this big, really big cup and handle. Rebid into seven, stronghold here, and nice continuation move higher here. I do think we have potential to see up into that nine region here this week on this one, on this cup and handle formation here for that continuation move, potential above that into that 10 region. From a weekly time frame perspective, a nice gap up here, a nice inside bar here, nice higher high on this upside bar here. Watching again for that continuation move, I do think we see a move up into that 874, $9 region here with a strong support at seven below here on this daily time frame here for Mara. The second play, uh, one that's been on the watch list quite a bit frequently or as of lately, Going to be Meta, continues to have a strong run here, continues to form this uh, shorter term uptrend. Higher highs, higher lows, nice trending structure here. Note this one does have earnings here on 2-1, so it's not going to be within the coming week, but could have potential impact on it going into that week. Watching this above this 137.86 region. So you can see we have multiple rejections here before this big move lower off of earnings. We test it back here in 112, 113, and basically form a bunch of consolidation here, failing to break this 137.86 region. Friday, we get our first poke above this and help with a strong market. I want to see this hold. If we do see this hold, I do think we have potential up into this 149.85 region here. The last thing that I want to see, however, on this is this fake out here. And then if we reclaim below this low here into this 134.65 region, this is what would be referred to as a bull trap here. So if we get a continuation strength here on Monday, liking this one up into that 149.85 region above here this week. 
The third play is going to be Baba, and one that was also on our watch list last week. A very nice continuation move to the upside here. Now we got new levels here, or a new area to watch. And let's first go out to the weekly here. You can see this strong continuation move here. And you'll notice this is very common within this sector. The Chinese sector has been where the strength has been lately. And oftentimes those are the equities that you should be watching in a hot sector, similarly to how we had last year, the oil sector. Going into the daily chart here, you can see we get this strong gap up and follow through here on BABA. Go to the shorter time frame here. You can see this nice strength off the open, consolidating here right into this 120 region. See a rejection, 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 rejection. You guys get the point. 120, very, very strong level here. Holds above that. I do think we trade up into this 124.19, 125 region above that. And it wouldn't surprise me in coming weeks if we do continue to get this strength formation here to trade up into those 52-week highs right up here near that 136.75 area. So again, very nice move here, nice continuation trend strength, nice gap up close. Now eyeing this one to hold or break that 120 area for a continuation move to the upside here in a hot sector. The fourth one, another one I'm sure a lot of you guys have on watch, and it's going to be one that's had a lot of strength here following earnings on the watch list last week. Nice move up after this last week on the watch list. Earnings gap up here. We reclaim into the highs here. Let's zoom in on this level right here. Basically the level up from 332.68 up into 336. And this is going to be this daily support zone where we rejected here resistance, we rejected here resistance, and look how strong this act as a support here. You can see multiple touches here. One, two, three, four, five, and then rally into close. So very, very strong support region here. Very nice level here. If we do hold above this 336 regional support here, I do think we have potential up into that 350 plus breakout move here on a earnings continuation upside. So again, key is to hold that 336 area. If we do pull back here on Monday into 336, we'll watch the bounce level here to take this one to the upside. And the last move, one that's been strong lately also, is going to be NVIDIA. Nice close here on Friday, closing up 6.41% on 1.3x volume. Watching a hold over 177 area here for a continuation move up into this 188 potential area. Where is that 188 potential area? That's from where we gapped up on 1213 before selling off down here into this 140 area. This creates a magnet where price wants to retest up into this prior high here. I do think we can have that if we can hold above 177 here for this pattern breakout here to test this liquidity up here into this 188 zone. If we do zoom out here, let's zoom out here on the weekly chart. You can see we're forming a nice structure of higher lows. So the reversal here, reversal here, obviously a higher low than this reversal here. Nice looking weekly chart here, closing near the high of the candle. Lots of strength here. I do think we see upside above that 177 level. With that being said, that wraps up our weekly watch list video for the week. If you did enjoy this video, if you could please subscribe to the channel and give it a like, it would mean the world to us. If you are interested in joining our team where we post things like daily signals, education, daily market commentary, feel free to check out simplified-investing.com today. We would love to have you guys on board. Hope you guys all have a great weekend and look forward to trading with you all on Monday. Thank you.